What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, I have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first thing we are gonna get into people is an update on the whole Beach Star trial. Right? You know so I have to give you an update upon that once there is an update. You see what I say? Prosecution witness admits to smuggling guns from Haiti. The prosecution star witness in the Everton Beach Stone McDonald murder trial, then Valin Bobla Minot, has admitted that he frequently imported illegal guns into Jamaica from Haiti. The admission came as defense attorneys attempt to prove to the jury that the witness was unreliable and a criminal. Minot claimed he was hired by the Portland businessman to MURDER his second wife, Tonya McDonald, in 2020. The attorney for Beach Stout co accused Oscar Barnes, Lyndon Wellesley, began his cross examination of Bubla on Tuesday. He appeared intent on painting the witness as a dangerous man who was a threat to national security. He began by asking the witness whether a gun he had previously mentioned was a gift or one he had purchased. Bubla, who had previously been rattled by defense attorney Christopher Towson, responded, That's my personal business. Well, Leslie pressed Bubla, No, sir, you are answering my question. But Bubla refused, repeatedly telling the defense attorney how he acquired the illegal GUN was his own personal business. After being instructed by the judge to answer the question, Bubla told the court he bought the GUN in Haiti a long time ago. At this point, Mr. Wellesley suggests to the witness that Mistress McDonald wanted to KILL someone badly and offered him a contract to do it. To this, Bubla respond, yes sir. The attorney then asked the witness whether he knew if Mistress McDonald was trying to KILL Beach Stout. I don't know, responded Bubla. Well, Leslie then pressed the witness on whether he would use the beaches in Portland to do his illegal GUN business. Again, Bubla respond, that is not your business. The attorney shot back, it is the business of the Ministry of National Security. How many GUNs did you buy in Haiti? Woleep responded Bubla. So you brought Woleep of GUNs into Jamaica. That is why the minister needs to know you, the attorney responded. Beach Stout and another man, Oscar Barnes, are on trial for the MURDER of his wife in July 2020. Tonya McDonald's partially burnt body was found with her throat slashed in Sherwood Forest, Portland. Her car had been set on fire. Well, Leslie will continue his cross-examination at 10 this morning when he is expected to press bubbler on whether he ever pr um, properly identified Oscar Barnes as the man he subcontracted to KILL Tonya McDonald. So we are going to fast forward to that and you know, all people. Witnessing Beach Stout trial admits to lying in police statement. Boy, them have him a twist. Him and a turn him still in you know, people, them liar, yeah, you know. The prosecution's second witness in the Everton Beach Stout McDonald murder trial, then Valin Bubla Minot, has testified that he lied in his in initial statements to the police because he was covering for the businessman and he did not trust the police. He made the admission during re-examination by the Crown on Wednesday. Minot has faced three days of relentless questioning by the defense team who accused him of being a notorious criminal who lies habitually. But when asked by the deputy director of public prosecutions why he had told so many lies in his statement, the witness appeared overcome with emotion as he told the court he did not trust the police and was uncertain what would happen to him. Bob further testified that in his initial encounter with officers from the major investigation division MID, he was picking up for someone in the case. When asked who he was picking up for, the witness answered Mr. McDonald. The answer elicited a strong 
objection from defense attorney Christopher Towson. Towson argued that the answer amounted to new evidence. He was overruled. The seven-member jury broke into whispers among themselves. Bobla said he attempted to pick up for Beachy Stout because the businessman told him he was going to prison and should stay calm. Again, toes and object. He was again overruled. He would object at least three other times during the re-examination. All the objections were overruled. Bobla further testified that he was also afraid because he knew of the existence of phone, record, phone recording of conversations between himself and Beachy Stout. The witness told the court that before he and Asker Barnes allegedly took Tonya Hamilton McDonald and MURDER in Sherwood Forest, Portland, he had intended to KILL her in her car and set um, her car ablaze. In the driveway to this the judge asks though you were aware that on each occasion you went there there were occupants in the house question mark to this bubbler respond yes your honor mine not has been released from the witness stand the trial continues at 2 wednesday afternoon so whenever that update they come people me share it with you guys you know what i mean boy that trial yeah it look like say boy the youth then valin him a kind of stand up strong yes so me i say in i'm in in i in i'm testimony but it look like say the liar them have him and where them want the right now a kind of paint a picture of him being a criminal a dirty criminal we are carry whole heap of guns come in uh, the country and them want to paint him as a liar too. You understand? So right away, them no want the jury believe in him in a, in a, in, a, in a testimony them and him statement them way ma make. You see me I say so them want to mess up him character. Uh, that them want to do. You see me? For the jury them no believe him. But me believe some of the things them way him say and me not believe some. So, make we see how this pen out, people. So, we are going to move on, you know, see? Father of bus driver K-I-L-L by cops in Spanish town acquitted, uh, acquitted of wounding charge charges, right? The father of a bus driver who was SHOT and KILL by the police in Spanish town St. Catherine in 2020 has been acquitted of wounding a cop during that same incident. Denver Needham was cleared of all charges in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Tuesday. It is a happy moment and it is a sad moment. I am free of the charge but I have lost one of the greatest greatest part of me he was a brilliant brilliant youth the 50 year old needham who is also a bus driver to our news team he is the father of lexi needham who was kill on wednesday july 1 2020 of the incident the police reported that about 6 15 pm the elder Needham used a machete to chop a policeman on his right hand, then fled the scene. However, Needham categorically denied this version of events and feels vindicated by his acquittal. The police claim my son attacked them, but it was the cop, it was one, it was the one cop who attacked my son. He was trying to defend himself and the policeman SHOT him and KILL him. I just tried to slap the policeman's wrist with his GUN and with a machete after he tried to SHOOT my son another time in the head. So basically, what the father said, seeing the police can up him son and him the close to the police and him have a lass in him and and when him do with the last i just slap the police and with the last so that him not get for can up him son again you see it? the police fire three shot two can after my sons what all right let me read over about the party the police fire three shot two shot after my son's belly he sight 
that means him avoid it right them both and then the police turn it to his chest and s-h-o-o-t him right in him chest k-i-l-l him on the spot need him allege labeling the incident traumatic <coughs> After that, them charged me for wounding with intent, but thank to God for the video evidence that contradicted everything the policeman said happened. There was no crowd of 10 people. My son bus wasn't um, obstructing traffic in Mr. Lake's private car park, and there was no other police officer. My son was not even armed. He was K-I-L-L -L in cold blood. Need him added. Needham thank his lawyer Isaac Buchanan and the Jamaican justice system for his freedom. The judge examined the evidence and in his final instructions to the jury, he told them that when I slapped the policeman with the machete, I did, I did so with the intention to save my son's life. I didn't chop the policeman from behind to K-I-L-L him or injure him only to stop him from conning my son for a final time. Judge ensured that the jury was reminded of these facts Needham said. The police the official police report alleged that the younger Needham was loading a Toyota Costa bus along Burke Road in the town when a policeman on duty approached him and instructed that the bus should move to a designated area for public transportation an argument reportedly developed between the cop and the younger needham and the uniformed policeman was attacked and chop several times the younger needham 24 year old otherwise called lexi was reportedly shot by another policeman who saw his colleague being attacked and reportedly went to his rescue Needham challenged the veracity of the police report. The policeman told a lot of lies. The video evidence is there for the world to see, he said. So, people, it looked like, say, the younger Needham would drop out, we get caught and drop out. He was wrong because him attacked the police and the next police caught him up. You see me, I say? But the father, you know, him see what go on and him did have a last on him. And him lick the policeman and for them for, for him not call the son. You know what I mean? And next time. So them free him up for that. Because the police are say I chop him, chop him. But I never that. So are the son this my people. You see me I say, I'm picture that right or so. You see it? So let me know what you think in the comment section. And we are gonna move on, my people, to a car you know, go on in a Saint Elizabeth. See? Two SHOT, one fatally in St. Elizabeth Bar. Two men were SHOT one fatally by gunmen at a bar in Oxford, St. Elizabeth on Tuesday night. The deceased is 36 year old construction worker Dwayne Newman of Spring Park in the parish. Reports are that about 8.20 p.m. the two men were inside the bar when an armed man entered and opened gunfire at them. He then fled the scene. The police were summoned and on their arrival, Newman and the other man were found suffering from gunshot wounds. They were transported to hospital where Newman was pronounced dead and the other man was hospitalized in stable condition. No motive has yet been established for the GUN attack. So people... Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon to get notified when anything new is on the channel and also give this live or give this video a thumbs up. So bless up on yourself and people and thanks for watching.